father. Mr. Andrews. These are the Kirins. Hello. Hello. Hi. Have you been playing around by that deserted railway yard? If you have, listen to me. That's a bad place. Don't any of you ever go down there again. Spook trains, I tell you. Trains that come out of that tunnel at night and drive back in again by themselves. Nobody running them. And you never know when they're going to come. Where is it? Here it comes! Where have you been? The spook train went back into the tunnel ages ago. The train must have gone somewhere. I suppose the entrance to the second fork the porter told us about really is blocked up. If it isn't, then the train could go down there. Yes, that's the only solution. Unless the train's a spook one. Oh. Julian, George has left the string out. Poor old George. Don't you think it's about time she caught something? What do you mean? Get in. <laughs> Boys must be going to look for the train. Come on, Timmy. the tunnel again. We can't do it now, but we can do it in the morning. Right, see you then. Night. Night. Come on, Timmy. Tomorrow we're going to go down to that tunnel ourselves, and we're going to show them that I'm as good as any boy. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. What a lovely day for bug hunting. But where's George and Timmy? George has gone off by herself. Hmm? She went out before we were up. Jock's late again. He must have overslept. Shut Let's go over to the farm dear. and get him so that we can go exploring. What's all this? Uh, we thought we'd do some exploring on the moor. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. I think I'll come with you. I'll just get my things. Uh... I don't think you'd enjoy it, sir. No. Oh. Yes, well, perhaps uh, on second thoughts, I don't think I will come. Well, off you go then. All right, I'll attend to all that. Thank you very Thank you, much, sir. sir. See you in time Bye. for tea. Come on, Anne. Thank you. during the day. Oh, that's all right, Anne. Mr. Andrews certainly has plenty of workers. And lorries. I wouldn't have thought there was enough for them to do on a farm this size. I wonder what this is. One of those old railway vents. Come on, Timmy. It's just like digging for rabbits. <laughs> Timmy, where are you? 
Produce. Sorry, we've come for Jock. Hello. Here he is. I'll be a while yet. I'm glad to see you're staying away from that deserted where we are, like I told you. It can be very dangerous. Don't you forget what I told you, Jock. Yes, Father. Where's George? Oh, she's gone off with Timmy somewhere. She gets very moody when she doesn't get her own way. Timmy! <gasps> Timmy! How are we going to get you out of here? <gasps> we'll just have to go back that way. Are you sure you don't mind? Good, because this time we're jolly well going to walk right through that tunnel and see just where that spook train goes. Oi! You look clear out. Don't you come down here. We won't. We're going into the tunnel. This one really is bricked up. There's no doubt about that. Oh well, that only leaves the other fork to explore. No train's been out of this tunnel for years. The wheels would have chopped the weeds to bits. What are we going to do now? Just have to go back, that's all, and examine every bit of it in detail. 
Oh no, once is enough. See you at the other end. I'll go this way. Bye. See you at the other end. Bye. Oh, listen. It'll take 48 hours to get out. Well, I called you as soon as I saw him. We better start. Ready? After you. I wonder what we'll find. I don't know. Get out of that tunnel. Did Miss Randall's catch you eight covered one half and not the other. Pictures! That! Mr. Andrews! It's us, Jock, Julian and Dick. Jock, I warned you not to come down here. We were planning to wrap up business in this area soon anyway. But this has brought things to head. But why? Take them away. <laughs>
Holly. You remember that second time it's bricked up, don't you? Yeah. Well, there's a way in through the wall. A whole bit opens in an open sesame sort of way. Oh. See that? That's inside of the brick wall. Oh. Cool, they didn't have to tie you up well. There are two walls across the second fork. There's big space in between. And that's where we and the sweet train are hiding. Clever, eh? place for the goods until the heat wears off. They must use the lorries from my stepfather's farm, bring the stuff down to the railway yard at night, then load it all on the train. That way they can hide everything at once and no one's the wiser. but I must telephone to the police and to your uncle. Up here, don't you, Tanya? Well, we search both tunnels. We'll search them again. Come on.
Open that shoulder. Jump! Here we go! Or you come down! Well, I think Jock will be happier without his stepfather at present. Now, are you sure you're all all right? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, gracious me. I quite forgot. I, I, I called your father. The police has told me you were back. Oh, children, children, you are... Oh, I say. I've never seen dirtier children in my life. Hello, Uncle Quentin. We're fine. Stolen goods, tunnels, spook trains. Is this your idea of a camping holiday? <laughs> Mr. Pound. 